All right, here we go again. Transformer. Well, whatever you are, you saved our butts back there. Thanks. Bumblebee, good work finding the human. He has the artifact that will lead us to the Allspark. You must protect him at all costs. <clears throat> okay, we'll do. Transformers, you can turn in the gun. Hey, bunkers. Get to the communication center and ready to see. Look at those yellow things. I can't even imagine what those would be. I don't know what that is. Yeah, they're doing that. Yeah, Traffic control destroy the radio towers and power generators. The cons have assumed control of several devices to interfere with the signal. Your optical sensors will display these objects in red. They must be destroyed. These trains run so slow. Action zone, Bumblebee. You will be eliminated for treason. The action zone is murder. You want lobster? I'm thinking of murder king. Kang. Apparently, there's like one million hostiles down there. Well, those aren't hostiles. Those are radio towers you have to destroy. Because the Decepticons are using the radio towers. So they're just wiping off the Earth's communications? Well, Bumblebee, you're only chances to do random shit because we <laughs> need to stretch out the game. <laughs> <laughs> this is of the utmost importance because Decepticons. <laughs> just blasting. I like driving to the top of buildings and transforming. Shit, <laughs> I feel like no Starscream is the color variant. I was gonna say I think Starscream is a really cool color variant. He's warm and like a light like now. Transformers. This was the barely noticeable. Where they just like add a little bit of red to it. Yeah. Or, like call it day. Well, they did that to Jazz too. Then they made like fully rendered 3D models. For some of them. I don't think Bumblebee even had it. Ratchet a... doesn't appear in this game at all. So if you don't play it, then you might have to do it. I think he appears. He actually is. They have like a thousand Automods playable in the other game. Or in the PS3 edition. Yeah. Transformers the movie, the game, the definitive edition. I think they have like other yeah. Transformers too. They're like side swipe drift. No, but I like the Transformers Autobot and Decepticon game for the DS because it was uh, like this game except I gotta like be my own Transformer so half the time I just become like hippie van and shit. And then it was kinda gay anyways. Like, <laughs> it's like a dollar now so if you wanna pick it up at, if you wanna pick it up at like any game store for a buck, you might as well. You must go to the next action zone. If you don't clear that power plant too... Well, Decepticons. <laughs> 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 
This will help us get the advantage over the Decepticons in the way that, um, Megatron. In the way that Megatron. The thing is, at this point, the Decepticons that were alive were just, like, for the most part. Oh, I'm just supposed to destroy all this shit? Oh, yeah, shoot it all, dude. Oh, there's actually an enemy here, too. Alright, so let's. What good is it gonna do? Because it's totally the Decepticons. Hey, stay in the action zone! I know, I know. 20 seconds, Bond. You've got 20 seconds! Blow up that shit, that's okay. right. Drop one and a chain reaction will happen, that'll destroy everything pretty much. Alright, now the cops are confused, like, what the hell is this giant robot doing this? <laughs> Don't worry, officer, for your safety, we must stop the Decepticons. <laughs> Okay, I was like, I thought that was a chapter <laughs> failure for a minute. Well, that was interesting. Alright, good. That's part 38 of Transformers, the movie, the game. G1 edition.